Storm Team 4 now a bit of a challenge to make outdoor plants this week. Yeah, and even this afternoon, uh, kind of a hiccup here with this lake fog that's developing. Yeah, it's crazy, I thought. <laughs> I've been kind of nerding out on where, where it's been showing up on the sky cams going in and out uh, this early afternoon. Where it is happening, it's pretty thick. I, I saw. <laughs> is it going to stick around? Uh, right along the lake shore. I think okay. at times, I think you can expect it throughout the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Now, here's your allergy report uh, to go along with the fog. Uh, the pollens are still there, but improving. Uh, grass pollens are now down to low. That was super high just a few days ago, uh, but now improving down into the low, the low range. Uh, weed pollens starting to register there. Uh, there you go, Racine. Remember just about 20 minutes ago, I said, oh, look at the clear skies in Racine. I got a feeling that fog's coming for you. And there we go. There's the fog. Downtown Racine, 65 degrees, and look at the fog working its way across the Marquette Interchange. Now here, <laughs> pretty cool shot there. Again, that fog is pretty thick, but it looks to be just above the surface. But I bet you if you're on the Marquette Interchange up there, you're dealing with that fog, 66 degrees. And across southeastern Wisconsin, uh, 67 in Watertown, 70 in Lake Geneva. Going to start to see more lower 60s and 50s right along that lake shore as that wind starts to bend more out of the east. So let's go through your weather headlines. This is cool for June. Cool in the way of chilly. Again, chilly temperatures as we head into this evening. More rain is on the way tomorrow and a great Thursday forecast. All right, Storm 4 Max radar and satellite. Besides the fog, we have very little cloud cover. Lots of sunshine where we're not seeing the fog. Let's go farther out west, and that's where we have some showers and storms. Here's our next system that's going to be heading for us. So future forecast in the meantime, mostly sunny skies this afternoon to partly cloudy. A breeze off of Lake Michigan. As we head into tonight after midnight, we'll have a chance of some showers. I really think the rain is going to hold off for the most part if you're within the Milwaukee metro area, probably until tomorrow morning. But we'll put a chance of rain in the forecast tonight. Best chance looks to be north and west of Milwaukee. Look at the rain fill in by tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. Raining pretty good at 10 o'clock, maybe even some thunderstorms. And then the bulk of the rain is out of here tomorrow afternoon, maybe a stray shower. But again, the bulk of the rainfall will be in the morning hours uh, tomorrow, and then we should be dry and sunny on Thursday. Future rainfall here, computer models are showing a half inch to an inch widespread throughout southeastern Wisconsin. Here's your forecast for the rest of today. Turning cooler lakeside inland, making their way up to 74. Our high in Milwaukee is going to be around 68, but I got a feeling by like 3, 4, 5 o'clock, we're going to be falling to around 60, if not the 50s near Lake Michigan. For tonight, partly cloudy with a chance of rain late tonight. A low temperature of 54 degrees. That chance of rain tonight, mainly north and west of Milwaukee. But then it's for everybody tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning's commute looks very soggy. 66 degrees for your high on Wednesday. On Thursday, mostly sunny skies and a temperature of 75 degrees. Again, on Thursday, some area students are done with school. And I know some pools are open. And that will be the day to maybe hit up a pool. On, uh, by 2 o'clock, 74 by 6 o'clock, 74 degrees, mostly sunny skies. It's still a little too cool for me to get in there, but you know how the kids are. They don't care. I'm going there when it's 55. All right, by Friday, a chance of rain and maybe a few thunderstorms, 70 degrees. Chance of showers on Saturday, 71. 68 on Sunday, inland 74. And 70 degrees on Monday, inland 76.